G'day everyone, Billy here from Australia. Well, guys and girls, I'm doing a bit of a spring clean today and just doing a bit of deep cobwebbing. I get, uh, you know, uh, daddy long legs mainly in my house. But as you can see right here, guys, it's a little tiny bit of a uh, cobweb. Another one there, it's really, see that one there, that little line? It's really frustrating, guys. Um, so it's impossible to remove with a dust, um, with a feather duster. So there's another one just over here. Well, I've just actually hit with my duster. So that little uh, speck of uh, black stuff there is just uh, remains of a little fly or whatever, something. But anyway, guys, so I'll just show you my duster. So we'll get this one right here. And we'll try and remove it. So I've got a nice feather duster here. So I see how it just sticks to the wall. It's really, really frustrating so you know obviously I do do it a lot harder but it's a bit hard to film but the best way to remove this cobwebs guys is using a sponge so just a dry sponge like that and this is just a cement fiber wall basically it's cement fiber I'll show you So it'd probably work on other, you know. So it's really good using a sponge, guys. Now we'll go around to my uh, other uh, kitchen area. Where's my, uh, it's in my pocket, my dust brush. So let's head over there. Sorry, guys, so I'm doing a bit of a clean up today. I'm doing some videos. Got a little bit of stuff laying around. So not many people see the inside of my house, guys. But anyway, to the kitchen. Really bad spot right here, guys. So nothing major, but as you can see, daddy long legs. I hate killing them, guys. They all part of mother nature. They're harmless. But anyway, let's uh. So basically, there's another one up there. It's not too bad, this one. So that's not too bad guys, that actually came off. So anyway, just use a sponge and it just removes the uh, cobwebs guys. Just a really nice handy tip for you. Use a sponge. Thanks guys, see ya.